catch me outside. How about that? Catch you outside? What are you doing? You know what we're doing? What's up? Lantana. What's up? Lantana. What's up? My fellow Lantanians. This is what I learned yesterday by attending the Water District Number 7 meeting at 430. I went to District 7's meeting because Dif District 6's meeting, which is my district, um, was at 6 o'clock and I had baseball to coach. So I went to 7's meeting. We have good representation at both of our water boards at both of the districts. But here's what I learned. Uh, they were supposed to have a safety committee meeting and talk about the parking issues in Madison when it comes to the schools being let out. The sheriff was not there. Uh, something I did notice this week, on Monday this week, as Nicole and I were on our normal morning walk, um, is it up or down Lantana Trail? Either way, going from our neighborhood here in Laurel, uh, going towards Stacy Road, towards Harpool and Blanton. While walking Lantana Trail, we heard sirens all over the place. We got to Stacy Road where we normally cross the street and we noticed there had been a wreck a little further up to where a Jeep had plowed into a GMC truck and the Jeep must have hit the GMC truck so hard that both of the wheels on the GMC truck were flattened. Like it was unbelievable. The wheels were off the axle, which had to be a hard hit. So remember as you're driving on Lantana Trail to maybe slow it down a little bit. And remember, people do have to dart out of neighborhoods to get into the lane of traffic. So be sure and watch for them. And also for the pedestrians that are crossing the street. Uh, remember after school's out or before school that kids are walking up and down Lantana Trail. So we should slow it down for everybody, but especially for our children. I wanted to also let you know that we did learn May 30th is the start date on which they plan to do repairs on Lantana Trail. On Lantana Trail, if you go from Razor Road and you're headed towards Stacy, so you're headed kind of northeast, uh, there are some parts on the inner lane of Lantana Trail that are, there's huge gaps. Like they're probably an inch or two inches and, and gaps in the road, but they do have plans to repair them starting on May 30th. So be prepared for the noise, be prepared for everything to go down to one lane because it will happen. Also, in that same time frame, they're gonna start the new pickleball facility that's right by EP Razor. They're gonna start building uh, right after school's out. So May 30th there. Don't forget, they're still planning for a huge Earth Day event this year and that there will be vouchers to that you have to have when you're dropping off your hazardous materials. Uh, there's 70 vouchers in which you can get through the water district Dana, office. I need your help here. What is the one thing that you like most about living in Lantana, Texas? Tell me, is it the schools? Is it the amenities? Is it the people? Is it your neighborhood? What is Lantana, what are we doing in February this year? Tacos and Tequila on February 21st. Bingo, February 23rd. AT&T Stadium Tour on February 20th. I want to serve the community. Just in case anybody wanted to uh, work on this thing, it's been shut down now for four months. We can't get a $10 cable for it. Have you met the new HOA manager, Rachel Robinson? Yay! Relocated from my hometown of Carrollton, your new fire chief, Ricky the Wild Thing Vaughn! Yay! In Lantana, we don't have a mayor, so we have to rely on the water district and the HOA to keep Lantana beautiful and thriving. If you want to find out what's going on through the water district, you can find out at this posting here or you can also get online and look up Water District 6 and 7.